one more time about these incredible, adorable turtles. So there are Nate Diamondback Terrapins. They're native here in Florida. They're on the west coast where I'm located. And these ones are hatchlings from last year. Wow. So you used to be able to find these in the wild, but they're getting rarer, so... You can still find them. You're just not allowed to take them anymore. You used to be allowed to take one per day, but they drastically changed the laws last year, and you can't even breed them anymore. Wow. They're beautiful. That's so silly. You'd think that they'd let you breed them so that they don't have to take them. They don't want to have to prove whether you're poaching or breeding right. or anything like that. They just... Well, these guys are adorable, and I'm so glad you got to get, what is it, five of them before they yeah. change the law? I was going to sell one of these and get a pair of a different type, but I wasn't a, wasn't able to find them, and then I grew attached to it. So they are like, so beautiful. These might be anymore. my favorite turtle I've ever seen. They, they no are, joke. So they're the same turtle that Squirtle is. Oh, yeah, of Pokemon. They the blue color to them. The, yes, the blue color is what I love. I mean, in nature, it's just so rare to find that bluish green on a... And so then more of those uh, Japanese. Oh, the beautiful. Tail. So, yeah. so you're feeding them beautiful food. They're not feeders. They're just, <laughs> they're just hanging out. Okay. These. What do these guys eat usually? Are they like vegetarian um, and Missouri pellets? Okay. So you feed them. Okay. And then you've got like that in bulk. That's for sure. Yeah, it's a, a 25 pound bag. And how much do they eat a day? Like. Um, a quarter cup full. Okay, and then, then like, I mean, do they produce a lot of waste? I see two sponge filters, like big, big sponge filters. But not, not a lot of waste, but they do get a 90% water change every two to three weeks. Every two to three weeks. Yeah. And this is probably, what, 500 gallons? Yeah, yeah like I that? don't fill it all the way up, though, so it's roughly like 350 gallons fill it. 350? Wow, that is so cool. And then is that a heat lamp on top of things? So I don't need to heat them, but this is a UVB. They must have oh. UVB in order to digest food and have proper shell growth. And then that, that ramp is for them also, right? For yeah, it's it's temporary. I want to build them like a little island in the middle, but at the same time, this was all supposed to be moved and sent outside. And gotcha. I was going to fit as many IBC totes as I can in here. So you've got you've got quite the production facility in here of I've all actually, sorts of stuff. So I've actually got a lid already made for this, so that way no birds or raccoons oh, or anything can yeah. come in here. I just haven't had the time where I can move it out there. All right, guys. Well, it's awesome to meet you. They are so cute, and thank you so much, Grant, for showing us. This one's the nicest one. He's, you see, it's got no spot on its front scoot. It's got uh, just the yellow, no black yeah, yeah, on it. Yeah. And then it's got the lines, the rays. That's called the flower back pattern. Flower back pattern. So there's morphs of these just like any other reptile that people yep. are into. Wow. That's really cool. Well, thank you again.